OPEC's vote against deeper supply cuts sent oil lower on NYMEX. But analysts say it's a knee jerk and don't expect the price to slump. There may be some minor fluctuations of the price because the market was trying to play this factor last week, but I doubt that it will be long lived. So we're hovering in this. Uh, uh, in this margin from 41 to 46 dollars per barrel and I believe we'll stay in this range for some time. It didn't take long for the Russian ruble to react on oil's move. In its two currency basket the ruble slipped against the euro but was steady on the dollar. Its basket value reached 39.5 rubles, a step closer to the central bank's corridor limit of 41 rubles. Coincidentally, 41 is also the magic number for oil. And the Lusain oil price above $41 a barrel guarantees ruble stability. With current level of oil uh, price, Central Bank will be able to keep 41 even till the end of 2009 without any single problem. So even if capital outflow returns to Russian, uh, to, to Russian economy, participants will not manage to create such significant pressure on the Central Bank that Central Bank will have to retreat. The revised version of the budget that the government will publish this week is based on $41 per barrel. But even that assumes a deficit equal to 8% of GDP. If the magic number fails to hold, the government is more likely to use reserves of past oil earnings to plug the deficit rather than support the currency. Alexandra Andreeva, Business RT.